in order to create a permanent legacy of Haynes and his dedication to students and research, his family, colleagues, and friends have contributed generously to create the Haynes Walton Jr. Endowment for Graduate Study of Racial and Ethnic Politics. Obviously, it has taken the generosity of many donors. We're on our second award for this fellowship. I want to thank especially my colleagues, Vince Hutchings and James Jackson, who co-chaired the fundraising with Haynes former students and um, also the University of Texas faculty member Tasha Philpott, uh, who proposed the, the idea of this kind of fund and this kind of fellowship. Two awards, as I, as I said, have already, have already been made with the fund. Our second awardee is here, Nicole Yadon. Can you please stand, Nicole? proposal was in-group stereotypes, skin tone, and policy support among blacks. So I want to invite, oh, they're already here. All right. <laughs> Brent, this is Brent, Brandon, and Alice Walton are here. We're delighted that the family can join us for this very special occasion. Please welcome me in joining them here. Now this plaque, as you know, we have a Hall of Fame here at ISR, which is down on the first floor. This plaque will join the Hall of Fame, so to speak, uh, down on the first floor. So can you please unveil the plaque? James Walton, intellectual trailblazer known as the Dean of Black Politics, insisted racial and ethnic politics be evaluated with the same scrutiny and professional analysis as all other core areas of the discipline. Pioneer in advancing the status of African Americans in political science. His passion and knowledge inspired generations of future academic and government leaders gifted teacher and mentor of political scientists around the country, co-founder of National Conference of Black Political Scientists, the Endowment of Graduate Study in Racial and Ethnic Politics, supporting graduate students researching racial and ethnic politics, established November 12, 2015. Podium over to Brent and Brandon, um, who are going to make some brief remarks on behalf of the family. Well, ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, I just want to say thank you um, for taking time out of your Thursday to come here and celebrate this historical event. Um, from the bottom of my heart, and I know my family as well, this means a lot, uh, and this is bittersweet. Um, I watched my father realize his dream come true here at this institution. And um, I want to thank you, and I can't thank you enough for giving him the opportunity to come here and really shine. Um, so for those of you that had something to do with this, that I may not know you, um, please come up to me later and introduce me. I'll give you a big hug. If that makes you uncomfortable, I'll give you a handshake. <laughs> Thank you all, and uh, I just, I'm just excited about this. Um, I'm just going to echo what my brother said. I don't think we can thank you guys enough, and that starts with uh, Pat Shields. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention uh, James Jackson uh, as well, because they were the two that started and, and uh, spearheaded this for us. And uh, we're really grateful, and uh, we want to give. Uh, on behalf of my family, our other uh, portion of what we pledged this year for our father's uh, scholarship. And we look forward to uh, making this an annual thing in terms of uh, our family's gift. Uh, and we're grateful. Thank you very much. Thank you again to the family. 
testimony, and uh, thank you to all those who helped organize this and, and, uh, and made this possible. And thank you to Paul for a fantastic presentation, just very lively and spirited. It's wonderful. Um, so uh, there's a reception outside afterwards. Everybody is, of course, invited to that, and we can uh, uh, meet each other if we, we don't already know each other, and we can swap stories about Haynes. And in the Haynes spirit, let's make sure it contains a lot of that.